Welcome to the channel Masaki Jokes. Today we'll see what is an infinite set and we'll also see kinds of infinite sets on the basis of cardinality of that set, okay? So let's see. Suppose set A is an infinite set. So an infinite set is a set in which number of elements are not finite, okay? So there can be two types of infinite set. First one is countable infinite and second one is uncountable set. Okay. So cardinality of countably infinite set is denoted by alif naught. Okay. It is named as alif naught. Okay, and uh, cardinality of uncountable set it is denoted by continuum number. Okay, some examples of countably infinite sets are natural number set, set of integer, rational number set. These are some examples of countably infinite set, okay? And uncountable sets, examples of uncountable sets are set of real number or uh, R square, that means Cartesian product of two set of real numbers, okay? And uh, set of complex number, set of irrational number is also uncountable set and any interval a b and power set of natural number is also an uncountable set okay now let's see some results some useful results which may be useful which may be helpful for your exams some competitive exams like csr net and gate so let's see some results so first one is uncountable set minus countable set is always uncountable okay see an example suppose if i have set of real number and if i subtract set of rational number then what we get we get set of irrational number okay and that means this set of irrational number is an uncountable set okay now let's see another result and second useful result is uncountable set minus uncountable set then this can be countable and this can also be uncountable okay Okay, so for the first case, see an example. If I subtract set of real number, which is an uncountable set, minus set of irrational number, which is an uncountable set, and their difference will give us set of rational number, which is a countable set. Okay, now for the second case, when uncountable set minus uncountable set is an uncountable set. Same example, if I subtract interval 0 to minus 0 1, both are uncountable set. We know that interval is always an uncountable set. Okay, so 0 2 is an uncountable set, minus 0 1 is also an uncountable set, and their difference will be closed interval 1 2, which is also an uncountable set. Okay, so uncountable set minus uncountable k set can give us countable or it can also be uncountable okay now this video ends here and i have a quick announcement to make those students who are preparing for exams like csr net gate and other msc intense examination can buy our real analysis handwritten notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees 80 so if you are interested you can contact us through this whatsapp number thank you thanks for watching